Hey, what's going on, your boy? Brandon Berg. Just giving you a call. What's up? How you guys doing? Um, yeah, moment's getting to Philly. Um, just totally crazy. They really don't know how to how to celebrate, right? I mean, hell, Ryan burning, de- you know, destroying people's shit. Um, majority, you know, majority white people, but there's some, you know, you know, other non-whites that doing stupid shit. Um, but the Feasty, I think the Feasty, I want to least trust the Feasty. Um, I, you know, I think Cynthia G, uh, she, she talked about it. Um, I'm kind of just like, well, cause she kind of proved her point about they eat their own feces, um, during the prehistoric times. Um, you know, and that kind of, that's, it's kind of sad to me because, you know, you got a lot of people like, you know, you got certain white people that really think they're superior and they're very intellectual, but situations like this don't really, don't really do you guys any justice. Don't help your cause or anything else. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people like to say, well, we're, we're all humans. I say, no, we're not. You know what I'm saying? There's different species that existed on this planet at one time. You know what I'm saying? You have at least three known uh, species. Like you got the Homo sapien, that's what I am. Many, many black people with. And you have, you know, the Neanderthals and you got the Denziovians. Now, the one was in Europe, the one was kind of like found in Asia. Um, uh, so you have basically like three different species that actually did, uh, cohabitated, um, all at once. That's why, that's why the name mankind been implemented. You can't really say humanity, you know what I'm saying? Humanity, some people would say mankind better than saying, um, humanity. Cause they know man, humanity is basically distinct to you as one species. You are pure species. You're not a hybrid or anything else. You know, different hybrids and different species have different origins. Um, that's that's literally that maybe have a little bit of evolution, but with some similarity of interbreeding. That's when you come with some similarities, but you still the whole different species. Um, but yeah, like just uh, I mean, uh, just just. I mean, that incident in Philly kind of, like, proved um, proved a lot of points to a lot of people that, you know, that claim that they eat their own feces. Um, but, I, like I said, I told, I think I made a few comments on, you know, on here on YouTube saying, like, well, there's only one species that really eat their own feces. Well, eat feces, that's the dumb beetle out there in Africa. They actually live and they, they actually eat um, elephant feces. Um, that's the only animal, that's the only type of species of animals or, um, species I really know of. Um, beside that, I mean, uh, I mean, you know, you got some dogs and a few other animals that eat their vomit, but that's probably like the lengths of, you know, I mean, it's still kind of like waste, but vomit is not as poisonous or potential to be poisonous as feces. So, I'm, um, it depends on what you're eating, too. Um, but, um, yeah, like I said, you know, they kind of prove my point. Um, a lot of people say, well, why, you know, you know, there's a lot of things that you don't really know too much about. I, I, I like, I've been doing a lot of research and their history is pretty out there. Um, like I told people, you know, like they, you know, the anglo is not really native to Britain at all. They're, they're, uh, they're German. They're from the, they're like the, yeah, they're actually uh, German, uh, German, uh, German. Uh, they're from, like, they're nomads. They came from the Germanic tribes and they migrated to the British Islands, uh, Isles, and that's where you, um, uh, I think around, I think around, about six, uh, around six, yeah, around six, about six, uh, yeah, about six, 600 BC, no, 600 AD, they came there, but they used to actually, was in paganism, they actually worshipped the horse, that was like their sign of fertility, they did everything, they, they ate the horse, they, they breed it with the horse, they, you know, they, 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 they did a lot of shit with a horse, you know what I'm saying, in their belief of fertility, so, 
it was a lot of dark rituals going on back there. Um, especially, it was around during the Middle Ages, because I was, like I said, I was after the collapse of the of the Roman Empire. So, the Roman Empire, uh, I know, collapsed around four, like around 450. That's when it collapsed. So, um, yeah, you know, truth true be told, uh, that's really what it, that's really what it was. Um, but, um, but yeah, I, I just say, I just, um, just, it was just, just breathtaking, um, to see that it real disgust, it was disgusting. I, I could have watched the rest of it. Um, yeah, shout out to Jason Black, man. Uh, definitely going to support, um, his, his documentary race war. Um, big things, man. Big things going on. I, I definitely want to speak on. I was listening to uh, Tariq, man. I was uh, we talking about um, this guy Demar Demain, whatever uh, his name. He was supposed to be a, um, uh, based like a one of the black um, black arm groups. Uh, he was an advocate. Well, you know, you, you know, Tariq said he basically, you know, he co-signed him, brought him onto the show. They going is him. He was just chopping up game about black people need to, you know, be be uh, be armed and and but now he's telling people like, yeah, they, you know, he's, he's he can't be trusted. He could be a coon. Um, he's like maybe a, you know he's a, he's an undercover agent. And I'm kind of like I said, well, I said in my in my eyes, this is what I look at, and I know a lot. I don't know you could you know say this or this or this. But I think Tariq need to be, you know, kind of watch and be more cautious because, you know, there's, you know, some reason I think the power to be, they viewing him as a leader. It, you know, he likes it or not, but they're viewing him as a leader. So they're viewing, they're, they're sending a lot of, I think, agents towards him. So he got to start venting more, you know what I'm saying? Um, actually, a lot of people need to start venting more. Um, if you see somebody unfamiliar you really don't know about, do some history, check up on them. If you're going to bring them up, make them feel kind of uncomfortable, ask some questions, and see what their response is. If they don't, it's not just the way they answer, see how they answer it. You know what I'm saying? So they look kind of like nervous to answer it, and then, you, then something's going on, something's not right with that person. But you kind of already got heads up with it. But yeah, you know, I know you apologize for it. Um, but this is really for anybody. I think if you, you know, right now, like I said, you you know, there's they identify black uh, identity extremists. I, I mean, so right now they're already they're, they're looking for black people that's emboldened to speak their mind and, and their peace. Um, but yeah, you gotta you know just watch yourself. And you know, like I said, in the Trump, you got more and more emboldened um, white supremacists and extremists as um, being more vocal, more physical, uh, more emboldened to really to lash out against black people. So definitely be, you know, definitely keep your, your eyes open for that. Um, but yeah, I'm just, like I said, I'll hit you guys up with a little bit later uh, commentary. Uh, but yeah, man, just all, you know, like I said, I'm just uh, making sure everybody's okay and, you know, stay, you know, stay focused and stay cautious, all right? One.